most wives. I'm a partner in my husband's work. I have hidden his pamphlets in our children's linen when it looked likely that our house would be searched for seditious material. And when John was imprisoned in Newgate Prison on false charges of slander, I stayed with him. I was pregnant at the time, and so our baby was born in Newgate. And in 1649, when John was arrested, I presented a petition with 10,000 names on it, demanding his release. Of those 10,000 names, all of them were women. In all our history, such a petition has never been presented to an English government before. Yes, that's true. Uh, before my husband fell afoul of Parliament, he fought for them. He was a good soldier. He was captured by the King's army after fighting the Battle of Brentford, and they didn't treat him like a normal prisoner. They were going to put him on trial for treason, and if they had found him guilty, they would have shot him. That was their intention. But I went to visit him in prison. I persuaded him to write a letter, and I smuggled it out, and I took it to the House of Commons. The letter implored Parliament to threaten to execute four of the King's officers if the Cavaliers shot John Lilburn. The letter was well received, Parliament issued the threat, the Royalists abandoned the trial and exchanged John for one of their own. John told me later that I had saved his life through my wisdom, patience and diligence. 